St Kilda lost halfback Clinton Jones to injury before kickoff for a match featuring the clash of the revolts. St Kilda's Nick scored seven goals, five in a welcome return to form, while cousin Jack leads the race for the Coleman medal with 68 goals, but has managed just seven majors in the last month. Richmond made five changes following the 89-point caning from Carlton last week and had lost the previous 12 clashes against the Saints, dating back to the 03 season. He's got his first on the board. The Tigers struck back when Jack Revolt provided the clearance for three-gamer Troy Taylor to score before Revolt showed clear vision to assist the second. And he'll run in and he'll make no mistake this time. Tigers in front. The Richmond number eight then got on the score sheet. He opens up the angle and it's a pretty good idea and Revolt slots through his first for the afternoon and his 69th for the season. A 50 metre penalty after the Saints double team Jack and Richmond led 24-7 before cousin Nick made scoring a family affair. Collect, roll, run and miss. Or did he? He kicked it. Of course he kicked it. He's a champion. Trent Cochin climbed well to respond for Richmond, but Revolt was lucky to be paid the mark, which allowed him to boot over his third. He's bringing it back, bringing it back. 34 possessions last week, Jason Graham pitched in with the boot to reduce Richmond's lead to five points at quarter time. Tidge loads up, has it got the distance? Oh. Injury scarce for the Saints when Jason Blake hurt his elbow, Revolt hurt Adam Schneider. Jack Revolt lever the Tigers to the lead in between two Justin Kozitski goals. And that from just inside the 50 makes it three. It's goal for goal at Etihad Stadium. Then something inspirational from Brendan Goddard. Goddard, what a magnificent mark that was. Hit the pack at full tilt, towered over the top of it and has taken one of the best of the year. A dubious mark paid to Kozitski as St Kilda kicked four of the next five goals before Kean Cochin replied for Richmond. Well crumbed by Cochin. Can he wobble it home? He can. Well done by the Tigers. At half time, St Kilda led Richmond 66-61. Ex-Tiger Adam Patterson kicked the first goal of the second half before Jack Revolt kept Richmond in touch with his fifth. He's such a good one-on-one -on -one player, Jack Revolt. Nick drew a line in the sand for the ball to neatly settle before the Saints number 12 set up his third major. The confidence in Kozitski's game is noticeable as he gave the Saints a bit of breathing space. Here he is for his fifth. Two goals down, not much could be light and easy for Richmond in the final term. Nick Del Santo converted a 50 metre penalty into a major before two Nicks combined for the Saints to reach the century mark. And I think Nick Revolt would be happy with the outcome even though he's denied a goal himself. When Goddard booted his second, St Kilda had broken free. And then the left snap is all class and the Saints are starting to flex their muscles. Stephen Milne booted five when they last met. His first this time came in the final quarter before Kelvin Moore beefed up the Tigers' total. And kicks his first goal of the season. Ben Cousins' hamstring saw him sit out the final quarter in his 269th career game. While Jack Revolt booted seven for the day. Jack Revolt has super number seven. Cousins' retirement could have come a week early. I thought I was gone, but I was, you know, I've been able to jog and I've got, you know, some good strength in it. So hopefully one more, and uh, but we'll see. St Kilda winning 115 to 94. Charles Christian, Big Pond Sport.